Hello everybody and welcome back to another week of Porch Picks. You'll notice we're coming a couple days later because we let the Thursday night game slide. Uh, we didn't pick a Thursday night winner. All Sunday games today, maybe a Monday game. I'm not sure what's on the slate. Noah, how'd you do last week? Um, two and three. Ooh, two and three. That's that's not good. But it's better than some people, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What was I, Noah? Oh and five. Oh and five. Man, all right. But, hey. I'm gonna make it up this week. Probably gonna go five and zero this week. What are your What are your predictions for you this week? Um, four and one. Four and one. Okay. All right. Okay. So uh, here we go. Uh, the first pick of today is the Houston Texans at the Chicago Bears. Ooh, a couple of losers. Okay. Well, one and one and zero oh and one and one. Okay. So who do you got? All right. These two teams are both not looking so great, but I, I still think it's going to be the Chicago Bears by seven. Where's this game at? Chicago. Chicago. Okay, for that reason and that reason only, give me the Bears by three. Okay, let's go. Um, The next game we have is the Las Vegas Raiders at the Tennessee Titans. Okay. All right, who do you have? These teams are both 0-2, but the Raiders have lost to really good teams, and the Titans lost to the Giants. <laughs> the Giants are 2-0. and Well, I mean... No, Thank you, still they're a fraud. And yeah, okay. I still wouldn't have expected them to lose even if the... Okay, all right. So you're taking the Raiders? Yeah, I'm taking the Raiders by seven. All right, I'm going to shock her here. I'm taking the Titans. Don't like it because the Colts need losers in their divisions just like they are. And so I'm going to go Titans by four. All right, the next game we have is the Green Bay Packers at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh, great. Okay, who do you have? All right, so this is a rematch of the NFC Championship from two years ago, and the Buccaneers won, and I didn't think they deserved it. But now the Packers do not have Devontae Adams, and I'm going to take the Buccaneers by four. Man, you seem really upset with the Packers about letting Devontae Adams go. But, all right, well, hey, I've picked against the Buccaneers twice in a row. Hasn't gone well for me. Picked them to lose by 30 both times. I've learned my lesson. Give me the Packers by 25. Go ahead. Wow. All right, the next thing we have is the Atlanta Falcons at the Seattle Seahawks. Okay. Who right. do you have? I don't think either one of these teams are great either, but, I mean, the Falcons got rid of Matt Ryan and the Seahawks got rid of Russell Wilson. And those are two pretty good quarterbacks. So I'm going to take the Seahawks in this one by three. Okay. Give me the Falcons, Marcus Mariota. It uh, looks like Matt Ryan getting him was the right move. But give me Marcus Mariota and the Falcons by seven. All right. The last game we have is the San Francisco 49ers at the Denver Broncos. Mm, okay. What do you have? Uh, this is actually going to be, I think, the closest game of the week. But I'm going to take the Denver Broncos by three. Is this the Monday night game? No, it's Sunday night. Sunday night game. Okay. You got the Broncos by three. Give me the 49ers and their new man, Jimmy Garoppolo, under center. Give me the Niners. I'm going to go by 13. 13. I'm going to put it on them. So, all right. Well, that's it. The five picks of the week. So, let us know what you think. Um, Noah doing considerably better than me so far, but I think this is the week that I catch up. Y'all have a great weekend.